Hey, what's up guys? It's Nuj from AndroidRoots.com. Today I'm going to show you how to install Flash Player on a Lollipop device. So I have my Nexus 6 right here, and I'll quickly go into settings to show you I'm actually running on Lollipop about phone. Android version right there, I can go and double tap on it. And as you can see, we have Lollipop right here. Um, let's wait for the orange one, there we go. <laughs> um, and this uh, method should also work on older Android versions like KitKat and Jelly Bean in theory, but it works pretty darn well if you're running on Lollipop and I've personally tested it on my Nexus 6 and it is confirmed working pretty well. Um, so first thing we're gonna be doing is go ahead and hop into settings and then go ahead and find security and select it and then scroll all the way down to unknown sources and enable it. So I'll tap on OK, and as you can see now, it is enabled. And now go ahead and open up any browser. It can be the Chrome browser, Firefox browser, and go to downloadandroidfiles.org. So just like that, go and select it. And as always, I'll have all the step-by-step, step, uh, step by, a written step-by-step -step guide, all the download links, everything that you need down below in the video description, just in case if you need it. Um, and go and select the very first one, Apps APK. And then go ahead and find KitKat Adobe Flash Player 11.1.apk. Um, I know it says uh, KitKat, don't worry about it. It will work on Lollipop, so no need to worry about that. It will work just fine. So we're gonna go and select that one. And then we're gonna go ahead and download it. So go ahead and click on the download link right here. And we're gonna go ahead and save it now. So as you can see, it is downloading right here. And we're gonna go and tap on it and install it. And just in case if you accidentally swiped it away or something, this file will be located in your download folder. So you can go and open up file manager and op uh, open up the download folder. Um, so once it's done installing, just go and tap on done. And now we're gonna go ahead and go to the Play Store and install Dolphin Browser. This is the browser we're gonna be using to use Flash Player with. Unfortunately, we can't, be, we can't use any random browser like Chrome browser or Firefox browser as it will not work. So we're gonna go ahead and use Dolphin Browser. So I'm gonna go and tap Install and Accept It and give it a few seconds to finish downloading and installing. Now we're gonna go ahead and tap on Open. Okay, and we're gonna go and swipe through all this settings. And now we're gonna go ahead and tap on this little dolphin icon right at the bottom of the screen. We're gonna go and tap on Settings. And then go ahead and select Web Content. And then go ahead and where it says Flash Player, go and select that and then make sure it's selected to always on. So now Flash Player will always load if it is needed or requested by the web page. It'll always show up. And now we're gonna go and test it out to see if it actually does work. Um, so the first site, we're gonna be do testing it on two sites. So one is gonna be the official Adobe site and one is gonna be another Flash Player site. So we're gonna go ahead and go to the ultrasounds.com and you can do this on your phone too to show you that it doesn't work um, if you haven't installed Flash Player yet. Um, ultrasounds, oop. Oh, I can't type today. <laughs> um, ultrasounds.com. And we're going to go to that. And it should be a blue loading screen. Yep. So as you can see, it does have a blue animation. And that means Flash Player is working. And now I can go ahead and copy and paste this. So I can go and copy this. And I can go ahead and go to the Chrome browser. And it will not work. So I'll go and show you that. So I'll go and paste that. We'll go to that site. And as you can see, it is not working. So that's proof right there. This plugin is not supported the Flash Player plugin is not supported. Um, like I mentioned earlier, we're also gonna go to a Adobe Flash Player site, an official Adobe site, to show you that um, if it works there too. So we're gonna go to adobe.com slash software slash flash slash about. Just like that, oh, like that. I cannot type today. <laughs> okay, so just like that. Um, you can do this on your phone too, to test it out. And the boxes should be loading, so we'll see that. And as you can see right there, a pop-up did come up. We can ignore that, but as you can see the uh, box is moving. You just saw that. I'll refresh the page one more time to show you that it actually did load. Um, and as you can see, that box is moving. And once again, I'll go and copy and paste this link. I'll go and copy this paste the link into Chrome and it will not work and it'll say the plugin is not supported just for some proof. And as you can see right there, boom, it says Flash Player, a lightweight, uh, robo uh, robust, whatever, it doesn't really matter, but it says it right here, this plugin is not, and it's cut off, not supported. Um, so that's proof right there that this Flash Player is working. 
Um, and that is how you install Flash Player on your Lollipop or even Kit Kat Jelly Bean Ice Cream Sandwich device. Pretty darn easily, no computer required, no root required, and it's pretty straightforward. Guys, if you guys did enjoy this super easy, straightforward installation of Flash Player on your Lollipop Android device, phone or tablet, go ahead and hit that like button in the bottom right corner, and go ahead and hit that subscribe button while you're at it, as there's so much more Android content coming this way on this YouTube channel. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well. And I'm gonna share this video, video on Twitter, Facebook, and Google Plus to go and spread this word on how to get Flash Player on Android. Um, so that's pretty much it guys. That is how you install Flash Player on Android. Um, and I know some people know that a Dolphin browser natively supports Flash Player now. Um, but they use an older version of Flash Player. That's why I showed you this method, as this method is going to give you better stability and better performance of Flash Player. And remember, you can only use this on a Dolphin browser. And that's pretty much it, guys. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.